Namba, who visited the areas north of the Etosha National Park on Wednesday to assess the condition of the park's fens. He also engaged with farmers who fell victim to lions after killing their cattle and crop farmers who lost their produce after elephants destroyed their fields. The councillor of the Okachali constituency, Joseph Mupetami, who accompanied the deputy minister, observed that the fence at the park is dilapidated and wild animals are passing freely into cattle posts. Namba, who called for the park to be declared a national emergency. I propose right away that this is considered a national problem. Considering it a national problem has to also propose and suggest that we are get a national strategy, a national uh, approach to it. Probably along the same line we approach the, the railway, where we have to come here as a nation, as a community, and involve ourselves even doing volunteer work. His trip started at Onolongo, north of the park, where most part of the fence fell flat making it easy for the predators to move freely in and out of the park. Nambahu then proceeded to Okahau, where he held a consultative meeting with farmers who are farming along the national park to hear their concerns regarding human-wildlife conflict. When NBC News team visited the park, cow dung was seen all over the place. Police officers assisting in the anti-poaching unit raised concern about farmers driving large numbers of livestock into the park. It is also alleged that some people are taking advantage of the situation and while their livestock are grazing in the park, they engage in illegal hunting. Only a part of the fence has been rehabilitated into a predator-proof fence to prevent wildlife to escape from the park. The deputy minister has this to say when approached if government has enough money to complete the project. There has never been enough money. And we, it is, it's not a secret. The cuts are affecting everyone. That's why you, you, you have seen there some officials are not even at work because of the problems that we have. So therefore, we have to use and think out of the box not the conventional way we have been doing things. The government is investigating the killing of six lions by farmers in the northern part of the country to determine whether it constitutes illegal hunting.